Hey y'all, it's me, back with another video, and Gizmo, scratching in the background. Come here, Poodle. Oh, he listening today. Say hi. Come here. Say hi, people. Hi. Okay, go. Bye. Because I got things I got to talk about. Okay, so, let me I be hating for the ball of my nose ring to show. So I always tuck it in. I don't like it to be hanging. And y'all be like, she got a booger in her nose. No, that's the ball off of my ring. So, let me tell y'all something. I haven't did the Boo Boo the Fool Award in a minute. And so today, we have two winners of the Boo Boo the Fool Award, one Caucasian winner, and one African American, because I don't discriminate. So we're going to go with the African American first, because the Caucasian is a little bit more to discuss. Kodak Black, who is a 20-something rapper, made a statement on Instagram where he posted a picture of himself with his new diamond grill. And he said, the only way I'm eating pussy with these diamonds in my mouth, you gotta be Fifth Harmony, Kylie Jenner, Ariana Grande, Brick Campbell, or one of them. I don't know what one of them is, but I'm assuming he means somebody white. So I'm assuming, or somebody mixed, or someone that is not of the African-American persuasion. So I'm going to say this to Mr. Kodak Black. I almost, ooh, I almost said something really mean. But I'm going to try not to. I'm going to try my best to be nice. But I'm going to be like, why does he think black women even want him to eat us? The way he looks. These young rappers don't realize that your money is only going to last for so long. Because you only going to be popular for so long. Because after a while, ain't nobody going to want to hear all that mumble rapping that... The majority of y'all doing, we can't even understand what you're saying. Do you know that y'all type of rappers come a dime a dozen? It's somebody in high school, in junior high school, that's waiting to take your place. And trust me, they will, boo-boo. And what you gonna have left? Your teeth is? Your, your diamond teeth? That's all you gonna have left. Because you don't have the intelligence to make any type of investments with your money. Because you're too busy on the internet flossing your gold chains and flossing your diamond teeth. So honey, you can take them diamond teeth and eat the pussy of as many white women as you choose. Yes, I'm the spokesperson for black women today. We don't want you to eat our pussy, boo-boo. So you go on and take your diamond teethis and go on with Ariana Grande and Kylie Jenner. She, and all the people that you listed probably don't want you anyway. They wouldn't give you a second look. Because before you put those diamonds on your teeth, I saw what your teeth looked like before them diamonds. And when your career ends, you're going to have to pawn them diamonds anyway. Boy, shut up and sit your little crazy behind down somewhere. These young folks, you're crazy to me. And let me go to Jeffree Star. Now, Jeffree Star is the winner of the Caucasian Boo Boo the Fool Award. Jeffree Star, I'm not supporting you. I don't give a crap about your apology because it was fake. The only reason why you apologize is because you are about to release another makeup line and you want people to support you. Your apology was fake. 
because you didn't apologize. You, instead of really giving a honest apology, you gave an excuse for why you have called black people these derogatory names, why you use the N-word, why you have called women of color rats, because you grew up bad and people spit on you. Well, I grew up bad too. People call me fat. I got beat up in elementary school only one time. Only one girl beat me up because I didn't know how to fight back then. But don't try me now. So we all have a past, sweetheart. But I'm not out here calling white people crackers and all of these other derogatory names that we have for Caucasian people. I don't do that just because I had a jacked up past. Every time I get into an argument with a white person, I'm not going to call them a cracker or, you know, I don't even know a whole lot of derogatory names for white people. Because if I get into it with you, I'm not going to dog you based on your color. I'm going to dog you based on your character. So to call black people the N-word every time you get mad... You cannot justify that type of behavior. You just can't do it. You can't do it. Oh, I'm a racist because I got my feelings hurt so much coming up gay. My life was so hard. And so I used those racist terms. I know it was bad. No, you are a racist, period. I'm not giving you a pass. I'm sorry, white people. I'm not passing out no passes in 2017. If you call me a nigga, we not friends. If you call one of my friends a nigga, we not friends. If you call somebody I know a nigga, we not friends. If you call somebody I ain't never even met, but I watch them on TV and I support them a nigga, we not friends. If I hear that you didn't call somebody a nigga, if I know them or not, we not friends. So Jeffree Star, no, sweetheart, I don't accept your apology. And all the ignorant white people that's about to come on this channel and be like, well, forget you, what won't this, he trying, I don't give a damn. He is a racist. Undercover racist and out in the open races, you're still a racist. And that apology was bull crap. It really was. It wasn't worth a dime. Is my phone was tilted? No, I'm cool. It wasn't worth a dime, and I'm not, not accepting it. But I don't buy that trash anyway. Honey, I wouldn't wear no makeup that Jeffree Star sold if somebody gave it to me for free. So, Jeffree Star, you could take that apology and um, shove it where the sun don't shine, sweetheart. Because you're not getting no accolades, no thank you, no nothing. Not from this lady. You, you will not. Not in 2017, honey. We just not buying that crap this year, sweetheart. Sorry, boo-boo. And I hope black Twitter lights you up again and again and again. So Jeffree Star and Kodak Black, you guys have both won the Boo Boo the Fool Award. And you can come on here and act stupid if you want to, honey, because I will get my Orishas to slay you. You hear me? Try me. I'm bored. Try me. I need something to keep me company. Because I already got a couple of people out there in my six foot under spell. And it's a room, it's a room for a couple of more. Try me. Both of y'all crazy. Y'all should be good friends. Y'all probably like each other. Kodak Black, get you a life. Get you a mentor. Somebody that's going to teach you how to, one, value money. Two, invest money. And three, learn how to respect and honor the black woman. Because you black. 
let me go because I do have a couple more videos I got to film. I'm going to be up here filming videos today. And if you don't like what I said, I don't give a damn. Not today. Say bye. Bye, y'all. Bye now. Y'all have a good day. Love y'all. Bye.